Hey Dennis, um, just last night getting back into it, um, what were sort of the, the positives and negatives? I mean, obviously you guys won, but uh, a close one you had to pull back. What, what, where do you immediately see where you guys are trying to get better? I mean, we won a ball game. Um, it's up and downs uh, in games. Uh, that's how the NBA works, basketball goes. So, um, end of the day, we got the W, but still things we can improve on. Um, I think we're going to watch film in a couple of minutes. And then uh, we just, you know, try to get better. Everybody, you know, speaks on whatever, you know, uh, we think we can do better as a team and individual. Um, and then we just go for it. Dan? Hey Dennis, um, you guys are going to practice here three times, I think, assuming you guys go tomorrow um, in four days. I don't know if you guys are going around tomorrow, but it's more practice than you've normally had. Um, what can that do for you guys as a team um, right now, even though you're not full, um, just having this time on the court together, how valuable is it, and, and where do you think that will help most? Uh, I mean, get to know each other. Uh, you know, the first uh, couple of regular season games was like practice for us, you know, so because we didn't really practice. I think now, you know, to get together, talk about a few things, um, um, I think it's going to help us a lot. Uh, I think on the defensive end, we can still do better. But uh, on the offensive end, you know, just to make it as easy as possible for us, because I think with our group, what we have, uh, we got so much talent that we, um, you know, can score easy. And we got to find ways um, to, to get that done. Do we have any more questions for Dennis? Please remember to put your hands up. Kyle, we have a, another question from Kyle. Yeah, Dennis, with, with all the guys going in and out of the lineup um, and the ways you guys have had to adapt playing styles, even in the middle of games like you guys did last night, do, do you see how that could be helpful for the postseason and, and sort of facing different situations and having to adapt? Yeah, I think, um, you know, everybody's being, just being ready, you know, uh, on the bench um, to go. I think uh, everybody trusts each other and whoever steps on the court, you know, um, we, we believe in uh, whoever comes in um, to give us 110% and to help the team uh, win a ball game. And um, I think all the people we have in the locker room, I think, uh, Everybody believes in each other, and um, I think that's the biggest thing for us. Um, and they need to be ready as well. You know, they got to get their practice and in, individual work um, to give us that spark. You know, when they come into the game. Bill, Dennis, I'm just wondering because of all the restrictions and the fact you guys haven't practiced, and how how well do you feel like you guys really know each other this season, and how different is it from a normal year when you would just be together, so physically be together so much more than, than, than you're able to this year? Yeah, I mean, on, on the court, it's, uh, like I said, it's difficult, you know. I um, uh, never had a season like that before, obviously, but um, off the court, you know, we do a lot of stuff uh, as a team, so it's, um, it's you know, chemistry is there, um, but on the court, you know, some ways, you know, how people want their balls or whatever, like um, how the situations, you know, um, I, I still try to figure it out. I think everybody else try to figure it out. Um, but like I said, it's, it's, everybody has that, you know, every team has that, so it's no excuse. Um, we just try to, you know, uh, get better every day and then wait for the postseason to come and then get going. And then just as a follow-up, are those kinks that you feel like you had worked out by like roughly the 40th game, your first year in Oklahoma City and, and things like that? Like by, in, in a normal year, would those things be sorted out? Would that chemistry be established? And would you know where guys wanted it by this point in the season? Yeah, I mean, uh, All-Star, yeah. Before All-Star, I knew for sure. Um, last season, I think our last game was against Boston. Um, I mean, we took probably like 10 to 20, 25 games, you know. And um, I think then we had it rolling. Um, but like I say, everybody got it. So uh, we don't have to, you know, we just got to get better every day and um, get to work. Uh, Harrison? 
Dennis, along those same lines, I know when you got back from the health and safety protocols, you were kind of frustrated with the way that all that went down. I was just wondering, when you were in there, did guys reach out to you to just kind of make you feel like you were a part of things still, even while you were out? And have you guys been doing that with Mark and, you know, anyone else that's out with Pete? Yeah, I mean, end of the day, we pros, you know, um, even if you're unhealthy and health and safety protocols, you, you know, uh, still try to get the work in. Um, I mean, I think the situation with, with Mark is even worse uh, than mine. Um, but end of the day, you know, we can't control that. We just got to um, do our things what we can control. Um, but end of the day, it's, it's some BS for sure. Last two questions. We'll go uh, Jordan Richard. Hey, Dennis. Um, Frank's putting you in a lot of um, isolation side pick and roll actions. And I know um, before you and AD were kind of starting to get comfortable, you know, running that. Have you guys been talking a lot during this, on the sidelines about, you know, running the side isolation pick and roll? Because I know you guys are trying to get used to that action. Yeah. Um, I mean, since he's been out, you know, uh, he got on me when I, uh, when Damian Jones uh, set a pick and roll, you know, under the, on the 45, uh, left uh, wing, and I found him for the for the LEU, you know, right away. And uh, he looked at me, he was like, why why you can't do that with me? Um, and uh, I mean, we still try to figure it out. Um, I think uh, when he comes back, you know, me, I'm gonna put more pressure on me, you know, to, to find him even more you know, uh, for the labs, because I think nobody can really, you know, um, stop that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, just try to get better at it, you know, uh, keep talking to each other, and then uh, it's, it's going to be there. Okay, last question, Maximilian. Thank you. Hey, Dennis. Um, next week is the uh, 100 Tage dass du das erste Mal Trikot bei den Lakers getragen hast. Mich würde einfach deine Zwischenbilanz interessieren, wie, wie zufrieden oder unzufrieden du mit diesen ersten 100 Tagen jetzt hier in L.A. bist. Ja, ich finde es ich äh, sehr interessant. Ähm, bin auf jeden Fall zufrieden mit der Organisation, wie die ähm, mich hier aufgenommen haben. Ähm, alle Teammates haben mich äh, mit offenen Armen empfangen. Äh, die ganzen Front Office Leute natürlich auch. Ähm, spielerisch, ähm, wie gesagt, ich kann da immer noch viel mehr geben, denke ich. Ähm, aber wir versuchen, wie gesagt, ähm, haben die reguläre Saison, die ersten Spiele als Trainingsanheiten genutzt. Und ähm, ich glaube, dass wir weiterhin ähm, nach vorne schauen wollen, besser werden wollen ähm, in der Zukunft, dass wir natürlich für die Playoffs äh, ready sind. Okay, danke. Ich würde gerne mit dir auch ausführlich sprechen, wenn du das drauf hast. Ich habe bei der ersten entsprechende Anfrage hinterlegt, sodass du es weißt. Okay, okay, perfekt. Ja, klären wir hier.